to find the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times the radius squared, pi r squared. In the first example here, we've got a circle with a radius of 5 centimetres. So the area is going to be pi times 5 squared. Pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. So it's pi times 25, which we can write as 25 pi. And it's area. We measure area in squares. So it's 25 pi centimetres squared. If we wanted to give a decimal answer, we could type it into the calculator. But this question says give your answer in terms of pi. So the answer is 25 pi. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, pi r squared. In this question, the radius is 8. So the area is pi times 8 squared. 8 squared is 64. So pi times 64 is 64 pi. And again, it's in centimetres squared. We're given our answer in terms of pi. So that's how we're going to leave it. Here's another question. This time, we haven't been given the radius of the circle. We've been given the diameter. And the question says, give your answer to one decimal place. So if the diameter of a circle is 12 centimetres, a radius is half of a diameter. So half of 12 is 6. So the radius from the centre to the circumference is 6 centimetres. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. The radius is 6, so it's going to be pi times 6 squared. And we're given our answer to one decimal place. So we'll type this in the calculator. Pi, which is shift, and then the standard form button on this calculator, times 6 squared. So I've got 36 pi, or... If I press the S to D button, to one decimal place, I've got 113.1. 113.1, and that's in centimetres squared. One for you to try, so give this one a go. So again, we've been given the diameter, a diameter of 14. A radius is half of a diameter, so half of 14 is 7. So the radius is 7, the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. In this question, the radius is 7, so it's pi times 7 squared, which we can type into the calculator. And we get 49 pi, or... 153.9 centimetres squared. Here we have a different question. So this time we've got a ring which is formed by cutting a small circle out of a big circle. The radius of the small circle the radius of the small circle is 5 centimetres. The radius of the large circle is 7 centimetres. Find the area of the shaded ring. So we're going to find the area of our big circle and our area of our small circle. And we're going to take away. We're going to take the small one away from the big one. So for the big circle... The area is pi times the radius squared. The radius is 7. So it's pi times 7 squared. 7 squared is 49. So that's 49 pi. And it's in centimetres squared. For the small circle, the 
we've got pi times the radius squared, and the radius is 5. So it's pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. So it's 25 pi centimeters squared. So the shaded area is the big circle. The area of the big circle, take away the area of the small circle. So 49 pies, take away 25 pies. 49 take away 25 is 24. So we've got 24 pi centimeters squared. Okay, one for you to try. So this time we've got a circle cut out of a square. So give this one a go. So the radius of the circle is six centimeters. So that means the square must be 12 centimeters. So two radiuses, the diameter, 12 by 12. So to find the area of the square, we do 12 times 12. So area of square is 12 times 12, which is 144 centimeters squared. The area of the circle is pi r squared. So pi times six squared 6 squared is 36, pi times 36 we can just write as 36 pi. So what's the shaded area? So it's the area of the square, 144, take away the area of the circle, which is 36 pi. We can't simplify it, that's as simple as it gets, so that is our answer. 144 take away 36 pi centimeters squared and if we wanted to get a decimal answer we could just type it into the calculator and the calculator will give us a decimal answer and one more example this time we've got a circle has a circumference a circumference of 10 meters find the area of the circle Give your answer to one decimal place. So the circumference of a circle is either pi times diameter or 2 times pi times r. So the circumference is 10 meters. We're going to find the radius. So let's use 2 times pi times r because we need the radius to work out the area of the circle. So we'll find the radius first. And then once we've got the radius, we'll find the area of the circle. So the circumference, which is 10, is equal to 2 times pi times r. So how can we get r by itself? At the moment, it's multiplied by 2 pi. So to get r by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. So if we divide both sides by 2 pi, we find r is equal to 10 divided by 2 pi. And we can find out what that is using the calculator. I'm going to leave this number in the calculator. I've got 1.5915 and so on. But I'm going to leave that number in the calculator because I'm using it again. So that's the radius of the circle we've worked out now. We use the circumference formula to find the radius. And now we can find the area because the area is pi times the radius squared. So it's going to be pi times 1.5915 and so on squared, which we can find by just typing it in the calculator. So it's going to be pi times our answer squared. And to one decimal place, so I've got 7.95. So the next decimal place, the second one is 5. So it's going to round up. So what comes after 7.9? That'll be 8.0. So 
8.0 meters squared. It's in meters. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So we've got the circumference of the circle again. So circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. So 12 is the circumference. So 12 equals 2 times pi times the radius. To get r by itself, divide both sides by 2 pi. So r will be 12 divided by 2 pi. 12 over 2 pi is 1.9098 and so on. 1.9098 and so on. We'll leave that number in the calculator and now we can work out the area. The area is pi times the radius squared. So it's pi times that last answer squared. So pi times that last answer squared to one decimal place. So we've got 11.45. Five is five or above, so it rounds up to 11.5. 11.5 centimeters squared. Okay, to finish up, three questions. Pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. So question one, we've got a diameter of 15 meters, which means R, the radius, will be seven and a half meters. So the area is pi times the radius squared, so pi times 7.5 squared. So pi times 7.5 squared. So 225 over 4 pi in terms of pi. Or if I press S to D, I've got 176.7 to one decimal place. 176.7 meters to one decimal place. Meters squared is area. We measure area in squares. 176.7 meters squared to one decimal place. Question two, the radius is six millimeters. So the area will be pi times the radius squared. So 36 pi or as a decimal. hundred thirteen point one millimeters squared to one decimal place or 36 pi in terms of pi it doesn't matter unless the question asks it doesn't matter which answer we give and question three we've got a radius of nine centimeters so pi times the radius squared is the area so that's 81 pi or as a decimal Or as a decimal, we've got 254.5. 254.5 centimetres squared. 254.5.